Today, we're gonna be detailing the 64 Impala. We have a 64 Impala rag top that we're gonna be detailing today. What this detail is going to include is going to be a exterior wash. We're gonna be using Optimum No Rinse, rinseless wash. We're going to be doing a one-step paint enhancement on this coated vehicle to remove the swirling and the love marks that are on the hood, the, uh, the trunk, as well as all of the side panels. And then we're also going to give the rims a very, very light polish. They are gold plated, so you have to make sure that you're not using any abrasives. And then we are also going to be touching up the leather. We're gonna be exfoliating the leather um, portions of the interior, and then we're gonna be protecting the fabric areas. We're gonna show you guys the techniques that we use. Um, you wanna be as gentle as possible. And remember, preservation is number one. A lot of these materials, a lot of these parts, and a lot of these uh, components in these vehicles are either one of a kind or they're extremely hard to get. There's a lot of custom fabrication. There's a lot of custom uh, customizations on these vehicles. So you have to be very careful because these vehicles usually have a lot of sentimental value as well to their owners. So I got my own R, I got my super plush towel. So how I'm gonna start, I'm gonna spray a small area of the panel. And then I wanna make sure I spray my towel so that way both sides are lubricated. And I'm gonna go through with no pressure and I'm gonna get a small wipe. And now I'm gonna go through with a drying towel, no pressure and dry the rest off, residual re residue. Repeat the process for the rest of the vehicle. Joel is gonna come behind me and follow suit with his preference of the polish and the polishing pad. So with this vehicle, it's basically just a, a little bit more abrasive than a jeweling polish. A jeweling would be just literally getting it ready for show. This is now at the point where it does need, it does have some very, very light love marks on it that need removal. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna hit it with my Rupes fine pad and I'll be following it up probably with my white pad depending on the results that I receive from this guy. If this one does the trick, then we're good. Polishes, I'm gonna go with either Uno or HD Speed. These are the lightest abrasives that I have and they're actually pad reliant. So depending on whatever pad I wanna switch out to, these are all both gonna be good options. And then they're also gonna leave behind some protection. Just got done with the O&R wash. Um, this wash is different from the regular, regular methods that we use with, uh, with soap and water. Here, there's no pressure. Take your time, um, much as you can, cause we're in the open heat. Pretty familiar with this process that we do, um, the, the O&R no, uh, no rinse process the vehicles we, we have a private collection account that we do that we have a lot of experience with these over 30 vehicles that we do so it's just another day on the, doing the rinse this process taking our time no pressure prevent preservation all right so we moved up to a wool pad on the rupes machine and i'm running at about speed five and a half i know a lot of you will probably say oh that's too intense why are you going so aggressive if you don't have a lot of experience with ceramics, you probably don't understand this, but a ceramic coating is two to three times harder than a factory clear coat. So this, is co this has been coated three years ago. Even though it's been three years, this car is not a daily driven vehicle. This vehicle is preserved well, it's garage. So this coating on average to a normal daily driver would be probably equivalent of maybe a couple months old. So it's an extremely hard, uh, coating that's on the surface that I'm having to cut through in order to get these small swirls and, and, and imperfections off. But we're getting about 95% of them out with this guy here that I'm just gonna go back through and refine. This is cutting my time literally in half. When I was using that pad, it was taking me about, I don't know, I'd say if I broke this into four sections, this hood, that was taking me about 10 minutes per section. This one's taking me about five minutes per section.
the first round with wool and followed up with the orange pad by Rupes. 15 minutes to do this side, this panel right here. It'll probably take me about 10 minutes to do this side now that I have the formula. Not bad compared to this, what it was before. That's what it was before, and this is where we're at now. I'm starting on the hand polish on all the chrome. We got the door handles, we got the mirrors, we got the edging right here, the windows. Not getting, uh, not getting too much of it. So uh, just going nice and slow so I don't get it on the paint on any rubber parts because it just makes it just makes it how trying to get it off. So this chrome is at about 15 minutes. All the all the edging is going to be it's going to be hurting your eyes. So that's what I'm working on. About 20 minutes will be done. Next step is the wash and chrome polish on this thing. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. That's what we got to do next. Polishing on the trunk and the hood are complete. Next, we're gonna go into the interior. We're gonna give it a light exfoliation on the leather surfaces, and then we're gonna protect and steam. Sal's holding down the engine. While he's doing the engine, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give the, the wheels a quick wipe down, and then we're gonna go into the interior together. We're almost finished up with the Impala. Sal's just doing the finishing touches on the interior. Then we'll do a walk around and let you guys see the results.
So that's a wrap guys for the 64 Impala. I want to give a special thanks to Pops because without Pops, we wouldn't know what we're doing touching these types of vehicles. He had us wiping down cars as youngsters and we still wipe them down to this day. He's, he's owned some of the most legendary lowriders in the game. So these vehicles are not only a piece of history, they're a piece of people's hearts. These vehicles, one of a kind, they represent not only cars, but an entire culture. He had the pleasure of growing up being a part of that culture. So to us, we have a deeper appreciation for these vehicles and it makes it a lot easier for us to deliver high quality standards like this. So special shout out to you pops. Thank you. Another hot one today, but we got the first low rider of the, of the low rider season complete. I got this one underneath my belt. Got some experience done. This was a pleasure. Now it's time for Joao to roll this in the garage. We're out of here.